Hello, this is Noreen from Joya Cards and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! card videos, please click that subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified when my videos release. Well, anyway, now let's go make a card. Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you Sweet Conversations and it is in the new mini catalog January to June 2022 and it's basically this um, Sweet Talk Sweet. And we're going to start with the stamp set here. And the stamp set um, has, of course, you see these on the front, but there's a lot more you can do with stamps other than just do what's on here. Now, what I did is I've got them all kind of stamped out and I've got little variations. Now, across here are the large hearts, which are these two. And then you can just do them by themselves or you can take its layering background and do the layering background. And then there's a taller um, heart right here, which also has a layer. And then a, like a small squatty, there's two small squatty ones right here that you can put the background to it as well. You can also use the background by itself. So here's the large one, here's the squatty one here. And you can also kind of layer them. I kind of did this little technique here too. Also, you can take those backgrounds and you can layer the other backgrounds on top. So I did them in different kinds of ink here. And also right here, that's like a stamp off. So you got your full strength and then you keep stamping off, which kind of gives kind of a neat effect. Also, we've got this, uh, little splotchy thing. I don't know what else to call it, but I put that inside one of the small hearts here too. And this of course is what it looks like by itself. And you can also stamp that off too. You can just take it full strength and splotch it off a, a few times like that. Here's the larger one here. And you can put the smaller one on top of uh, the larger one and then a stamp off here. You can also take that large one and put one of the other stamps on top of it. And then let's go over here. We've got these little hearts here, which is this one by itself and its background. And here's the two together. And here I took a real red and I put a black on top in the outline and that kind of looked neat. Also, you've got these lines and it's like, what, what do you do with the lines? Well, I it's basically just decoration. So what I did is I took the lines that are right here and I put the hearts on each side or you can make a hashtag on it or you can do like a crisscross. I also took the lines and I took the X and the O and I put the lines next to each other and stamped them on top. I put the hearts, the little outline hearts there or just a big heart there. I also took the little three backgrounds and put it on top or you could take a sentiment. So I did the lines in red and the sentiment in black. And then there are only two sentiments in the stamp. They're right here and happy to have you in my life, which I stamped on top of the lines and then happy Valentine's Day. And the reason why I stamped this out three times is you could almost do that on a card, just keep going down. So that's kind of a card idea here. And then I also took the outline of the, uh, parts here and then just made like um, a little clover with it. So that's kind of my idea sheet for the stamps. Now let's get to the dies. Now here's the sweet hard dies and I always mount mine on a magnet. You can get these anywhere. Um, and what I did is this die right here, the one with the six hearts, these four examples here are just this one die. So just the outline or just the hearts or you can take its negative, put a different color of the outline and then the opposite of the inserted hearts. Or you could do like in this one, I put in, uh, I did a red negative, a white outline, and then I took the red um, hearts, which this cuts out, and I put it in every other hole like that. So that's just this one die, those ideas. And then you've got all these little hearts here. And I'm gonna tell you right now, they're all the same size. <laughs> Save you a little time there. So these are all the same size and I cut them out right here. But if you take one of these insert hearts and one of the little tiny ones, they actually 
this one's a little bigger than this one so you can make like an outline with it so that's kind of cool and then this die right here does this so you can use it um as a negative or just the hearts you know it's a uh, up down up down here it does make this little crease when you die cut it so keep that in mind but that's what you can do with this one and then these are bigger hearts here. You could do like what we did up here with the negative and the positive or just layering like that. And these go up and down. So it's not this way, it's this way and do the same thing. And then what this is right here, the big die is an envelope. So here's what it looks like when it's cut out and you fold it. Now, one of these little flaps, this one right here is just a tiny bit smaller and that's the flap that goes right here so fold these in on top of each other like that and you can make the envelope you can also decorate the envelope with some of the hearts so that's what I did here and here it also comes with these big hearts right here there's three of them kind of like the ones on the stamps in fact they are for the stamps <laughs> and so they've got these three hearts here and like I said you can layer them like this that's kind of nice and then you've got a tag and you can put the hearts on there and then you've also got these on the bottom these two little layering flag things and you can either put a die cut or you can stamp it and you know what i don't know what you use this one for but i'm sure somebody will figure out something oh also i always keep the little um little circle that the tag makes i, I put it on here because every once in a while I'll be making a card and I'll look for something that just gives me a little circle. So keep in mind, this will make that little circle for you. That's always kind of useful when you need it. So those are the dies. I also want to give you some examples of the die cuts with the stamp. So I got my little envelope here. I've got my tags here with different designs. These sentiment tags are just flag tags. And then the hearts with the X and the O, or of course the... Um, the background for the heart and then of course you can stamp the um, uh, you are cute and love you and hug me on top of the uh, heart dies so here's some example of a combination of the dies and the stamps also in the sweet talk suite you've got the gingham embossing folder which looks like this this is really pretty for a good background I also did the technique where you ink the embossing folder and you run it through the die cutter here. This is that uh, DS paper, which I'll show you in a moment. This looks, I think, the best. This is really nice. And then this, what I did is I blended just real red and then I embossed it and made a really cool color like so. Those, those are just a few little embossing folder techniques. Also, the suite comes with like these candy heart boxes. So these are actually really, really easy to put together. It's pretty self-explanatory. And of course, the real red ribbon. So these are some extras. I didn't get the iridescent rhinestones. I don't know why, but I didn't. But there are rhinestones that match matches this as well. Finally, the DS paper. This is really pretty paper. That's that piece that I embossed with the gingham folder. And these are just really, really nice. Now. A lot of times when you have DS paper, what Stampin' Up! will do is it will match it to a punch or a die to the set. And I did want to show you that. Uh, this particular one here matches this paper here. Now, this is for matches the die cuts. So these hearts right here, these big ones, will match the paper. So you can die cut those out. Also this particular uh, DS paper, you can take the large one or the medium one, let's see, or actually the short squatty one, and you can cut that one out. You can also use one of these tiny, teeny little ones, and you can die cut out on this paper. You could take it and it matches the big ones right there. So these you can all die cut. You can also use your brother scan and cut to cut out a lot of these DS papers. Now, the thing about the brother is that it's a scanner. So it scans it in, finds an, uh, a closed in image and cuts it. So a lot of times it won't pick up certain colors like these light 
colored candies it didn't pick up at all um, or it won't pick up the ends on the purple ones I tried to close up the end so it would do it and unfortunately it was just a little too close and it would rip the ends off so the only ones that I was able to successfully use my brother scan and cut on were these big hearts here and the um, red hearts right here you could probably get the purple one to cut um, I wasn't too successful with it. It kind of drove me crazy. So it's really not worth your time. And you would think that the popsicle heart I could get out. I even traced the stick so it would know and it just didn't like it. And it's just kind of a too much of a hassle. So what I did with those, with the candy ones, is I fussy cut them. So we got die cut, my brother scanning cut, and the fussy cut. And I did all the fussy cutting in there. So there's the DS paper. So that breaks down the suite. Now my next video, I'm going to just do a, a, at least one card or maybe many cards, not sure yet, but I'll go ahead and use the suite. After that, I'm going to also uh, go over the love and happiness, which is on the next page in the catalog, which I actually thought they coordinated with each other and they kind of do. And it's, this one's kind of on its own. This one's really um a cool stamp set because and i might even keep this one um after it retires because it has celebrating anniversary it has weddings it's got engagement congratulations to my husband to my wife so this one's really kind of useful and it has a cool embossing folder and die cut but i will show you that uh, after i do the card video for the this suite right here and that will do it for me Thanks, bye.